Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tower. I hope everyone's well. I'm still throwing down cards for February. I'm sorry, I wanted to get this done this past week, but I just couldn't. Um, for those of you who didn't catch the top and bottom of the deck read that I did yesterday, here's what here's what happened. Um, my son and I were both very sick last week, and um, we had to go get tested. I think everybody knows what that means. The baseball bat up the nose. Yeah quarantined in his bedroom for two days, couldn't leave the house. It was bad. Okay. Uh, we're negative. Everything's fine. We're good, but that's why things didn't get done. And on top of everything, I was diagnosed with viral conjunctivitis. Don't know where I got it, but I wasn't touching my cards until my eyes stopped weeping because I was already, you know, if I did exit that bedroom for anything, I had to wipe everything down with a sandy wipe. I mean, the doorknobs, the faucets, the, the little flusher on the toilet. You know, I just, I, I'm wiping everything down with sanitary wipes. It's like, um, I don't want anybody else to catch what I have in this house. So anyway, we're going to throw down cards for somebody. Everybody's fine. We're good. I just wasn't touching the cards because there's no way to wipe these off with a sandy wipe and keep them safe. So anywho, who are we throwing down cards for? I'm going to shut up and start throwing down cards and stop talking about how horrible my week was because that's not why you're here. You're here for your reading. Anyway, Gemini, you're up. Okay. Gemini, where are we? Air. Okay. Oh, I just did Libra. So, okay, I guess I'll just throw this stick down again. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the gods. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it does not resonate with Gemini as your sun sign, you can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa and might play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And cross watchers are welcome here too. Everybody's always welcome here. I love it when people stop by. Hit the thumbs up while you're in there. Subscribe if you feel like you want to see more. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload and all that good stuff. If you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist your arm, but it's very much appreciated if you do so. Anyway, <sighs> two things before I do the invocation and throw the cards down. One, if it's not your story, Leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what doesn't belong to you. That's how fights get started. Okay. Two, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I read tarot and I would never in a million years do that. Anyway. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of February, 2021. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirits. Gemini, whoa! What's going on? That's the card. That's the blessed. Is something serious going on? Hmm. Somebody might be engaged. I mean, the Hierophant means a lot of things. It's, it's. I mean, he's the Pope. He freaking marries people. Okay. It's the marriage card. It's also the life lesson card. So I probably shouldn't speak too much or get too flamboyant or, or joyous until we throw the rest of the cards down, but I'm liking it so far. And I mean, if somebody's in a serious relationship, cool. If somebody's engaged, cool. That's amazing. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Knight of Pentacles. Good things do start off slow, don't they? Hmm. That's, that's stability. I like it. What do you, what do you think of them? Ooh, this is where I get sketch. Uh, somebody is having a little bit of trouble letting go of something and moving forward. So 
things might be getting serious. Things might be starting off strong and slow, but mm, somebody might be having issues letting go. What do you want from the person you're dealing with, Empress? Oh my gosh. I like it even more now. You, you want to grow. You want to birth things. This is the this is the beginning of beautiful futures, Gemini. This is amazing. This is I I I don't even know if I want to clarify. I don't know if I want to ruin this with clarification at this point. How did they feel about you? Death in the reverse. Hmm. Now I may have to, me and my big mouth. Hmm. Lack of evolution, lack of change. Hmm. We'll clarify that one. What do they think of you? Page of Wands reversed. Hmm. Hmm. I'm moving forward, not moving at the pace you want it to move at, maybe. What do they want from you? Six of Swords reversed. It's part of return. Of you, from you, for you. Something about coming back over to the side of the river. Hmm. What's the obstacle here? Queen of Wands reversed. Has someone not been shown her worth? Or his worth? Forget the sex of the card. It's not important. It's the energy coming off of it. Don't mind my pronouns. Possible resolution, two of swords reverse. It started out so well, too, Gemini. Difficult decision needs to be made here. Possibly something to do with this letting go. Or a lack of change. All right, we're going to hold this under our hat. Get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and the people for Gemini? Please, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 2021. Cards on the table. Clarity for cards on the table. Why are we not shuffling? One more good shuffle, please. I saw way too much. Okay, hi. The dance of change. Two of Pentacles. Hold that thought a second. Sorry about that. I heard strange voices in my house and I realized, oh, the boys are playing an online video game. Okay. I was wondering why I heard an eight-year-old girl's voice in my house. Anyway, <laughs> where were we? Dance of change. Okay, I don't know why the Knight of Cups just popped out, but we're going to put him back in and see if he pops back out again. Two of Pentacles. There's something, there's something evolving in this relationship. Possibly things are a little bit rocky right now, but they're balancing. It's like a balanced rockiness. That's what I'm getting. Sorry, I'm totally shaking my Chromebook right now. Anyway, balanced rockiness working into like a blessed union kind of thing. Hmm. It's very interesting. I am intrigued though. 
everything was going so well, and then we get over here and uh, things maybe not going so well. Okay. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. Yes. Slow and steady does win the race, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Small offers, small beginnings, but th those are the cornerstones. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what you build on, right? You build on a solid foundation. Mm-hmm. Why the Two of Wands reversed? This is where we get into a little bit of trouble. Why the Two of Wands reversed? Did you see how that flew out? It landed on this Two of Swords reversed, which is a card of a difficult decision needing to be made. And I was asking about this Two of Wands reversed. So Two of Swords reversed, Two of Wands reversed, Three of Cups. <sighs> Pardon me. Um... There's three people in that card. Is there possibly three people in this connection, Gemini? Does somebody need to let go of someone or something else? Is this a little bit of a third party situation right now for some of you? Possibly. You just let me know in the comments. Let me know. Okay. Okay. Why is the Empress here? Why would a Six of Cups reverse fall on top of an Empress? Why the Six of Cups reversed? High Priestess, okay. wasn't always sunshine and roses in this connection, was it? That indicates to me, if you guys have been hanging out for a while, that it was not always so nice. And there's some negative energy and some negative emotions involved in this connection. You, somebody definitely wants it to grow. Somebody definitely wants it to go somewhere and make something. But there's negativity. Could have been past life negativity, for all I know. I wasn't there. I'm just throwing down cards. I'm just reading cards, guys. If it was in this life, it was not always sunshine and roses between you. Um, it might have something to do with this th third-party crap up here. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not you. I'm not in your situation. I'm not in your shoes. I'm just reading cards. Why the High Priestess? the dark and the light. Somebody needs to disconnect from something potentially toxic. Somebody wants something potentially toxic to go away so things can grow. So the 5D and the 3D can match up. So dreams can come true. And that toxic stuff in the shadow side is probably where the Six of Cups reverse is coming from. I want this to grow. I want this to become something. But all this toxic crap that's going on needs to not be going on. Okay. Okay. Why is death reversed here? Oh, 
Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Death reversed. Five of Pentacles. I wonder if those five pentacles hanging on that tree are going to make it through the winter. Hmm. Well, they've hung on this long. They've hung on this long without things changing. One more. Whoa. Nine of Pentacles. Oof. Somebody's very independent. Somebody's very self-sufficient. Either somebody feels like they're not needed. Or somebody feels like they don't need anybody else. Somebody has a very stubborn, independent streak. And this is, has not changed about somebody in this connection. But if those pentacles have held on this long, how much longer are they going to hold on? That's how somebody feels here. That's how somebody feels. Weird. Why is the Knave of Wands reversed here for what the other person thinks? It gave me a whole load of cards. I'm going to look at them real quick and then I'm going to put them back in and we're going to see what flips out. Magician, Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Justice, Knight of Cups reversed, Two of Swords reversed. Two swords reversed. Huh. I'm not I'm not taking six cards, guys. I'm sorry. We're gonna see what comes back out. If it's meant to come back out, it will. Okay. King of Cups. I need a bigger table. Unfortunately, I don't have room for a bigger table. Okay. Stop there for a second. Knave of Wands reversed. King of Cups. Eight of Cups reversed. Karma reversed. Things are not moving at a good speed here. At least for somebody. Or things have come to a stop. And I think it has something to do with a return. And I think possibly this return has to do with a third party. I don't know. Could be for some of you. Things are rocky. Somebody's definitely making plans, but things are rocky. Someone has not been able to let something go or someone go. Someone has an extremely independent streak. Somebody is engaging in toxic stuff. And it always has not always been sunshine and roses between the two of you. But I think you guys have been in this for a long haul. Possibly some of you, it's been like a merry-go-round situation or one of those revolving doors of those big fancy hotels in a big city. You know what I'm talking about. It's a revolving door. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. I know what you two mean. Why the King of Cups? Nine 
ones. G. Oof. It's part of that independent streak. Wasn't I just talking about a revolving door? I believe I was. This is not the first time around, is it? No, no it isn't. There's definitely an abundance of love with this King of Cups. But, as I was saying, I can't remember what reading I said it in, but, like, the King of Wands is nothing more than, than a grown-up version of this. Well, okay. So, the King of Cups is nothing more than the grown-up version of the, the Knight of Cups, which is the other notorious playboy of the tarot. Always has a cup for somebody. And the King of Cups has nothing but love to give. Oof. And has caused things to come to a dead stop. I believe the King of Cups has come back into someone's life. Very, could, very possibly. Very possibly. Kind of put things to a halt, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Why the six of, six of Swords reversed? Why the Six of Swords reversed? Ace of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Five of Swords. Somebody wants to pick up pieces. Sorry, my hair is a little matted. Somebody wants to pick up pieces. Somebody wants to come back and pick up pieces. Why the Ace of Pentacles reversed? The star healing. I want to fix it. I want to make it right. I know the house has been blown apart. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Five of Swords upright. Six of Swords reversed. Somebody wants to come back and fix something. Probably has something to do with a Six of Cups reversed here. Hmm. Very interesting. This is very interesting, Gemini. Wow. Wow. Okay. Why the King of Wands reversed? Sorry. Why the Queen of Wands reversed? For the obstacle in this connection.
Why the Six of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. That's a fast answer to a question. You know, it's real hard to keep something moving when you go forward a little bit and then you got to take a couple steps back, two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, three steps back, two steps forward, one step back. If you're constantly trying to move forward and you keep getting drugged back, it's really hard to move forward doing that. You're spinning your wheels, essentially. You're spinning your wheels in this connection. I think this Ace of Wands, someone's constantly going off to do something new because they have this weird independent streak about them, and then they come back to try to fix it, and someone's being extraordinarily patient. It tells me somebody's putting up with this. Somebody is putting up with this. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Not only in that Eight of Wands is reversed, not only are they putting up with it, they're not saying anything. They're not saying what needs to be said. They're not saying what needs to be said. And they're communicating. They're communicating their feelings. Weird. What needs to be done? Two swords reversed. Why the two swords reversed? Four of Swords. The difficult decision to lay something to rest. One more. I've talked about this before. The Tarot is a journey. The Three of Swords is heartbreak. The Four of Swords is taking a break after your heart gets broke. The Two of Swords is the difficult decision to break someone's heart. The world. It started out so good, too. But this isn't all bad. Somebody needs to end a cycle. I'm not saying this needs to end. I'm not saying you need to throw in the towel on the whole Hierophant thing. But I think things need to change. Somebody needs to end something that has not ended, that has long since needed to end. Somebody's behaviors need to change. And I think, yeah, would I, wasn't I just saying it earlier? Gemini, all you want, you want to be able to grow. You want to be able to do this. You want the 5D and the 3D to like collide and everything to be wonderful. But if that's going to happen, all this old crap and all these old nasty habits, all this toxic crap needs to stop. Because you get six spilled cups here. You get nasty, salty thoughts and feelings and there's just bad energy and you just want it gone. Well, they want to come back and fix it. They want to fix it. Maybe they just don't know how. Well, that's how. <laughs> if you're the cross watcher watching, that's how. Fix it. Tower reversed. The conclusion is rebuilding the tower. How wonderful is that? I'm not even going to clarify that. I'm leaving that alone. Finally, Faith left a card alone. Okay, let's get some advice for you. Queen of Cups reversed and the Magician reversed. Love and manipulation should not go hand in hand. Don't pull the puppet strings on somebody's heart to try to get what you want because you're not serving anything. 
you're certainly not. And sometimes the advice has absolutely nothing to do with the reading, but if you take something out of it, you were meant to hear it. The Devil Upright and the Nine of Swords Upright. Don't get all up in your head about somebody else's toxic crap. Because you're only bringing their toxicity onto your journey. Don't do that. Temperance reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed. You will stay on that karmic wheel of negative cycles and negative energy if you don't do something to change the cycle. It's that easy. No, it's not. Yeah, no, Gemini, it really is that easy. You have to do something to change it because it is your free will to do what you want to do with your journey. You have to do what is best for you. And I don't think what is best for you is dragging somebody else's crap behind you on your journey. You got enough of your own crap. I'm sure everybody does. I have crap. Don't drag it with you. Leave it behind you. But do what you want. It's not my journey. I'm just throwing down cards. One more set. Three of swords reversed. Seven of wands reversed. Don't let heartbreak control your life. Don't let being afraid to get your heart broke control your decisions. Don't let someone unbreaking your heart control your decisions. If that makes any sense to anybody. All right, Gemini, I'm cutting out. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for everything you have done for me, Gemini. I appreciate it. I love you to bits. Take care, and I will catch you guys for your next reading.